What's up everyone, it's Stacko Cakes. I'm back with another Madden 19 video. This is for the week four prediction for the team of the week players. As of, uh, just same as last week, exact same thing. We're going to do this on uh, Sunday night after the Sunday night football game ended, which it just did. And uh, we're just gonna refresh the stats right here. And uh, the reason we're doing this is because, uh, as you guys know, EA has been releasing the team of the week before the Monday games are even finished. So might as well do the team of the week video, the prediction video right now, since uh, we're basically, this is the numbers they're going off of, just the Thursday to Sunday games basically. And uh, if somebody has a, an amazing Monday, then they will probably be added just like they were added a couple weeks ago when uh, Prince Mukamara got added late to the team of the week list. But uh, let's go check it out right now. First off, uh, lots of the uh, predictions last week uh, were not very good. <clears throat> we went through uh, the guys with the best uh, scoring days, of course, but it just seems that EA is very random in how they choose the team of the week. Like JJ Watt had a huge week last week, but they just said like, you know what? We're not going to do anything with him. We're not going to do anything with uh, Drew Brees and Matt Ryan, who had amazing weeks last week. So they, they just kind of pick and choose. Uh, maybe uh, particular players have some kind of a promo they're going to be using them in, so they're not going to be giving them a team of the week right now and stuff like that. So uh, we're just going to go through the stat leaders for week four up to this point, and uh, we'll just see who could be team of the week. How about that? that? That probably sounds better. So first off, Mitchell Trubisky, 43 fantasy points. Look at that, 355 yards, 354 yards passing, six touchdowns. And 53 yards on the ground. I believe his other card is very low. Isn't it a 70? Let's go check it out here. He's got a 79 from the ultimate kickoff. So he, he could definitely use another upgrade. His card is not that high. So I think that Mitch, Mitch Trubisky has a very good chance that he's going to get upgraded. But also, Andrew Luck is up here. 464 passing yards. Four passing touchdowns. Yeah, that uh, they did lose in overtime, though. That that is that is uh, one thing, though. But uh, Chicago did win their game, so so that that is something that is in Trubisky's favor. Jared Goff, I'm kind of just like omitting because he had the team of the week last week, so I don't think they're going to give him a team of the week again. But uh, he had an amazing game, of course. But uh, Kirk Cousins is also up there. Derek Carr, 437 yards, four passing touchdowns. Deshaun Watson. Had a very decent game. He had 41 yards rushing and a rushing touchdown. Two passing touchdowns. But uh, the top performers were Mitchell Trubisky. I'm pretty sure that uh, it's either him or Andrew Luck. It's got to be Kirk Cousins, uh, Minnesota. They lost that game, Kirk Cousins. So they don't usually give the team of the week to players that lose. That's why I'm thinking Mitchell Trubisky might get it because he's the one that won. Andrew Luck lost. Kirk Cousins lost, so I think the quarterback, Mitch Trubisky. Let's go check out the running back. Alvin Kamara again. He had a huge week last week. He has a huge week every week. You can basically give him the team of the week every single week. But um, he, once again, three rushing touchdowns, 134 yards rushing, 47 yards receiving. Amazing day. Zeke Elliott, huge day as well. Zeke Elliott, they got the win, I believe. Yes, they did. And uh, Alvin Kamara, did Alvin Kamara get the win? Let's see. Alvin Kamara also got the win. So they both got the win. Mike Davis had two rushing touchdowns. But um, Melvin Gordon also had a big day. Tariq Cohen, 53 yards rushing, 121 yards receiving, one touchdown. Wow, that's, a, that's amazing. So there's lots of players with some really good days here. Alvin Kamara, I don't know if they're saving him for something because he definitely should have had a team of the week last week. So are they, are they going to give it to him this time around? I'm not really sure. Zeke Elliott. Zeke has an upgrade already for the kickoff, right, I believe? The kickoff promo. So they, I, I don't really know. Would they go and upgrade Mike Davis out of nowhere? Two rushing touchdowns. That's not, not a really uh, sexy name to upgrade. But um, you got to give it to Alvin Kamara here out of these ones. Looking at it. and uh, Or Zeke. It's, it's got to be one of the two. Got to be. Let's go check out the wide receivers. Cooper Cup, 162 yards receiving, two touchdowns. 
Wow. Taylor Gabriel, he had 104 yards receiving, two t- two receiving touchdowns, and 10 yards rushing. Adam Thielen up there again. He was up there last week as well, I believe. 135 yards receiving, one touchdown. Brandon Cooks, 116 yards receiving, one touchdown. But as you can see, by far and away, the most fantasy points was Cooper Cup. And uh, they did get the win over Minnesota. Uh, let's see. If, let's go check his uh, cards. Does he have any upgrades at all? I believe no. Let's go check it out. He does. He has the Rising Star card, 80 overall. So I'm guessing that upgrades to an 86, I believe, if you fully upgrade it. So would they give him another upgrade right now? Possible. Possible. But uh, yeah, there's definitely something to consider right there. Uh, Brandon Cooks is in here as well. Dante, Dante Moncrief again. Calvin Ridley's in there again. And uh, didn't have very many yards receiving, but he did have two receiving touchdowns. So he's got, what, five five receiving touchdowns in two games? I doubt they'll give uh, Ridley another upgrade to his rookie premiere, but that, that would be insane if that was the case. But uh, I think we've got to lean to Cooper Cup here as getting the upgrade. And, uh, and as I mentioned in the video uh, last week, uh, last week, last year, as we know, uh, it was basically there was twelve. Uh, I think it was twelve offensive players plus an offensive boss, and twelve defensive players plus a defensive boss. But this year, it is now twelve players total. So you have to get six offense, six defense, and then you, on top of that, you have an offensive boss and a defensive boss. So you're looking at fourteen players total to get a team of the week player. And that's it. So a lot less than last year. So there's lots of people that deserve getting Team of the Week upgrades, but they won't necessarily get them just because there's only 14 players that can get it per week. So Cooper Cup, though, looks like he is a prime candidate to get the upgrade, in my opinion. Tight end, Jared Cook, 110 yards receiving, two receiving touchdowns. Looks like he's going to get it. Let's see what he has for his current card. I do not believe he has any upgrades. Uh, and he does not. He has an 80 uh, core elite. So I think he's definitely in the running for an upgrade right now. George Kittle, 125 yards receiving, one touchdown. Trey Burton, 86 yards receiving, one touchdown. Uh, Jared Cook won this game. Uh, George Kittle. Did George Kittle, did the San Francisco Giants win? Uh, the Giants lost. I mean, the San Francisco uh, 49ers. San Francisco 49ers lost. Uh, Trey Burton won. So Jared Cook and Trey Burton are the two that we'd consider probably. I think Jared Cook's going to get it. 110 yards receiving, two touchdowns. Really, really good. Let's go check out the defensive players. First off, let's go by total tackles. Joe Schobert from Cleveland. Did he get an upgrade last week? Because I remember when we did this video, he was he did not get an upgrade. So he had a big week last week as well. I'm pretty sure. And uh, another week, another good week right here. They did lose, but um, 14 total tackles, one sack. So that, that's a great night right there for him. Definitely could be getting an upgrade. Landon Collins, who is always good. I've got him on my team right now. Got one pass deflection and 14 total tackles. Darius Leonard, 13 total tackles, uh, one sack. TJ Carey, 12 total tackles. Alec Ogletree, 12 total tackles. Jamal Adams, 12 tackles. Uh, Demario Davis, 11 tackles, two sacks. Woo. I think Demario Davis, didn't he have a big week as well last week? I remember talking about him last week as well. So there's lots of repeat guys here that are having some great games. Let's check out the sacks. Kyle Fackrell, Kyler Flackrell. Let's go check him out. Flack, Fack. There he is. He's at 76, right outside linebacker. Three sacks and Green Bay won. So uh, this is definitely, uh, could be looking at an upgrade for him, outside linebacker. To Karis McKinley, Atlanta Falcons. He had three sacks as well. Demarcus Lawrence from the Cowboys. He has not had an upgrade yet this year. And uh, so Demarcus Lawrence, we know how good he is. And uh, J.J. Watt. Two sacks again. He had three sacks last week, I believe, and he did not get a Team of the Week player last week. I thought he would for sure. And uh, so he's got two more sacks right now, and he has two forced fumbles. So 
you got you got to give JJ Watt something for this right now. Aaron Donald, five total tackles, two sacks, one stuff. Danico Autry, nine tackles, two sacks. Demario Davis, eleven tackles, two sacks. Aaron Lynch, three tackles, one sack. Also has an interception. Okay. Let's go check the interceptions. Antoine Exum, three total tackles, one interception. He had an interception return for a touchdown as well. Three pass deflections as well. Exum. I don't think he has had any upgrades at all. He is not even in the database. Did I put his name in right? Exum. Yeah, I did. Okay. I guess they don't... Uh, they don't have him or something? That doesn't make sense. Jair Alexander, two total tackles, one interception, one pass deflection. Reggie Nelson, one intercept, one interception. Lots of players with one interception right here. Let's see. Um, so Exum was the only one that returned it for a touchdown. The 49ers lost, though. So uh, Aaron Lynch, Eddie Jackson, haha, <laughs> Clinton Dix. Pass deflections. Tredavious White got three of them, five tackles. There's the Exum again. Exum might, might be looking. Antone. How come I cannot find him? I'm kind of curious here. Antone. No, he's not in there. That's, that's very weird. But uh, maybe he'll, they'll actually give him a card. I, I don't think they would actually do that this late in the game. But uh, I'm surprised he is not in there. But Henry Anderson, Darius Slay. So we got three, three tackles, three pass deflections. Do we get any uh, kickers during the the uh, team of the week? I do not think so. So we're not going to check the kickers. But uh, yeah, this is just this just gives you an idea of who were the top players for the week. Like I said before, EA just decides at random who's going to get an upgrade. So we just kind of have to hope that if one of these players were somebody that you're hoping for hopefully ea decides to give them the team of the week upgrade that they need but uh i will have a video up for you guys tomorrow night which is monday night uh they're going to post i'm guessing again before the monday night football game with who's going to be the team of the week for week four so i will make a video tomorrow letting you guys know which of these players actually got the team of the week for team of the week four and uh, if you guys have any comments or questions put them in the comments down below if you guys think i missed anybody let me know in the comments down below as well. Hit the like button if you guys like this video. I appreciate every single like. Thank you very much. Hit the sub button if you guys want to know when my next video is coming. Hope you guys have a great day. See you guys soon.